And my facility is the biggest mental health hospital in the state of Oklahoma. And what's unfortunate about that is we have no ability to treat that. We can give them the medicine, that's the easy stuff, but we have no treatment for that. And the, the really big downside to that is those guys are gonna get out and they're not going to have the medicine anymore. And since they didn't get any treatment, that 15 years they lived at my facility, they're only six months out. I mean, that's the, that's the deal. You know, it takes about, it takes about three weeks for your, for the medicine that's already in your system to be worked out. You got to get arrested at least twice. And then at that point, you're starting to commit serious crimes and you're starting to get serious attention. And at the six month mark, you're back and you have 15 more. So. So. Unfortunately, we have to kind of wrap things up, but I do want, Eugene, if you have any final words about what they can do to sort of, you know, get us. Well, you know who I want to give that to is Betty. Betty, yeah. come join me. Maybe you and Dennis both can talk about what you want people to do. I'd rather you have to answer. My thoughts on the, the entire thing from my experience with Kevin, of course, is to do away with mandatory minimums. They absolutely make no sense at all. And the cost, the cost to my state is my granddaughter's education in the public school system. We have no money for that kind of thing. We have no money for the health care or the mental institutions. It's all being spent on our offenders, all of those people that are locked up in the correction system. And I feel as if it's very politically motivated. My son was sentenced to life without parole because a district attorney was running for senator. He won on my son's back, I feel. So need to do away with mandatory minimums. Um, what I'm gonna speak about a little bit is about family and how drugs can affect your family and how maybe that some can be put in place that me, myself, don't have to go down that path again. I lost two kids to it. My addiction, where someone could have stepped in a long time instead of putting me in prison, saying, hey, can we help this man? but nothing was in place for that. So I, I'm dealing with one son I, that's passed away and I'm dealing with another one that I may not can get back in my life all because am I a bad person? Not today. I wasn't a bad person 20 years ago, but society said I was. So today I changed on my own. I could have changed 20 years ago with a little help and understanding from society instead of saying I'm just a bad man and throw the key away. Thank you. Thank you.